madaktari pamoja na muungano wa maafisa tabibu ili kutathmini suluhu ya mgomo wa madaktari ambao umeingia siku yake ya 44 hebu tufululize moja kwa moja mpaka majengo ya county hall tusikilize yanayojiri and also the national treasury is missing back to you chair thank you very much uh, chair maybe we need to hear from uh, members can i go first senator wino uh, sorry honorable wino um, thank you thank you chair uh, chair Kenya is in crisis and people are dying and mass even from diseases which could have been intervened by our people who are now on strike for example they were losing over 10 people a day mothers and children and here it appears to me that perhaps the previous failures of these meetings is that it's not taken seriously That's why meetings have been aborted. I could not imagine that COG could fail to attend such a meeting. Perhaps we need to uh, interrogate our constitution, whether COG exists legally or is just a, a mere club. Number two, the Ministry of Labor and Treasury with junior representation. Chair, how would you attend meetings in World Bank when your house is on fire? And all the excuses that we have had in these uh, apologies, how can that be? So my, 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 my submission, Chair, is that uh, uh, Parliament is the highest apex, is the highest institution on this land, and Kenyans are looking upon us to have some reprieve to have their, some solution to them, to their crisis. And if parliament is not respected, we have in our standing orders, Chair, that we should invoke. Number one, to summon those who have not attended. That means I'm suggesting this meeting cannot go on without COG and all other important stakeholders. stakeholders and put them on summon as soon as possible, as our standing order says, so that we have all the players on table and come up with a resolution to save the lives of Kenyans. So Chair, I suggest we stand this down and evoke our summons so that we have a full house that can make a resolution that abides and can help Kenyans. Thank you, Chair. Senator Ledama. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I've looked at uh, the invitation that went out And these were the persons who were invited, and I've not seen any of them here. The Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Health, the Cabinet Secretary, National Treasury, the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Labor and Social Protection, the Chairperson, Council of Governors, the Chairperson, Salaries and Remuneration Commission, the Chairperson, Public Service, the Secretary General, Kenya Medical Practitioner and Dentist Union, I think I've seen that person here, the Secretary General, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, I believe I've seen uh, that person here. The Secretary General, Kenya National Union of Medical Laboratory Officers, I believe there was a gentleman who introduced himself. And uh, Mr. Chairman, this parliament, by the time a matter comes here, it means that there's a crisis in this country. This is a parliament that controls that